So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can design a specific primers for a DNA sequence so we can have it to be amplified. Okay, so we're going to design a primer for a specific PCR. So I've done this video before, but due to technical issues, it has been, I don't know, deleted and I have to redo it again. So just going to show you what I did before. So let's just quickly tell you what this question is asking you. So we, we are told that we have this particular gene that contain this specific regions that are conserved across many species. They conserve sequences, right? Now you want to see if the gene is also present in the specific animal known as marsupial. And the first thing you want to do is you want to amplify the specific, you want to amplify the gene that contains this online sequence using the PCR. To do this, you need to plan a pair, design a premise to match the most highly conserved regions, which are those underlined. And so it means you want to find, um, you want to first amplify a specific primer. You want to first form a design a primer that can amplify these regions of conserved across many species. Then you want to see if that conserved sequence that you amplified is also present in the marsupials. And you have to design a question, design a primer. So first question asked me, designing a primer for forward and reverse primer. So again, sorry for that. I already designed it, but video got deleted for somehow. So here I'm just going to show you what I did. So the, the, the key point I want you to take point here is that if you go with the primer that is um, 20 nucleotides in the forward strand, you have to make it to be um, 20 nucleotides in the reverse strand as well. That's what I did. So I picked the, my first primer from this region, C, all the way down to here, okay, to this part. So this is my first primer, okay. And there is again no region. If you start from this part, okay, it's okay. You're still doing the conserved sequence, so it's, it should be fine. And you just literally for the forward primer, you have to just repeat the sequence. You don't need to do any complementary stuff. But for the reverse primer, what? Well, what would happen is that we have to make it to be to the five prime to three prime, but we know in the reverse to strand, it is usually written in the three prime to the five prime. So what, what should we do? We have to make it to be reverse complementary. So what is the reverse complementary? So I pick my primer to be from here to there. Okay. Um, for the reverse to strand. So reverse complementary essentially means that if you have A to C, it will be T A G T A G. If it is C, 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 it will be, um, yeah, so if it's A, C, C, it will be T, G, G, T, G, G. It's, it's, it's a bit tricky at the first. I was really being um, um, annoyed by this, but once you do many examples, you get used to it. So you can, for example, go with that, or it can be C, T, A, G, A, T, G, A, T, okay? Now... From here, I was gonna work out TM where my video stopped record, my phone start stopped recording, so I have to continue on that. So I was gonna show you that if you're gonna use this um, equations here, okay? So we have um, four times by number of CGs nucleotides and two times number of AT nucleotides. This is one very common way scientists use to uh, calculate the TM melting temperature. So we're gonna do that too. Well, what is the number of CG? We have one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We have 10 CG. If it's 20, if we have 10 CG, it, it means we have 10 TA as well. So it means 4 times 10 plus 2 times 10. What would it give us? Uh, 4 times 10 plus 4 times 10. I'm sorry. So 60, yeah, 60 Celsius. Okay. Then we have we have to do reverse as well. How many reverse? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven four. Forty-four plus two times nine. So here it's sixty-two Celsius. Okay, so we have six sixty-two here, sixty here. And um so this is very important. So my apologies, I made a mistake here. This meant to be nine. Um, so, so for the forward primer, this is nine, not ten. So I don't know why I why wrote ten. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine. And the and the 
and the 80 would be 11, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So then that would give us 58 Celsius. So please excuse me. And the reverse primer would be, um, so the reverse one shouldn't be 62. Reverse one would be how much? So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we have 2, 10, then it must be 4, 10. So it will be 60 Celsius. So here's the thing. If you choose a primer, you must make sure that the TM does not vary a lot. So if usually two differences is considered to be okay, but if it's more than five, you should never do it, okay? Because it doesn't, it would decrease the specificity. We want to make sure that the TM, um, TM lies in uh, at uh, at most at most five differences okay five celsius differences you don't want to be go above than that you don't want that so here is considered to be okay so we done we done that now it says asking you to suggest a good annealing temperature annealing temperature as I explained to you is it's annealing temperature is the um tm minus five celsius it is considered to be annealing temperature it is considered to be good doesn't perfect. So here I'm going to choose 55 Celsius as my annual temperature. It is okay. Um, you don't have to necessarily be between a specific range. Here, 50 Celsius, 55 Celsius is okay. Okay. The last question is asking what is the expected PCR product? So what? So here is a very easy question to ask. So what you're going to do is you're going to first find a number of beginning nucleotide. So here is one, two, three, four, five. So it starts at the fifth um, nucleotide. So we have a starting at the fifth nucleotide. Okay. Where do we end? So here is 400, 460, 470, 480, 490. So we end at 490. Okay. That's a 490 we end. So then what are you gonna do? It's very easy math here. Is that you wanna find expected? So this is C, right? This is um. So let me write. This is um B, and this is the A. Okay. So this is B. This is A. So you would be expected PCR. Let me write with the red because it looks better. I'm gonna say 490 subtract by five. What would it be? 485. Okay, that's our expected PCR product. Okay, so I hope it was helpful. Sorry for any stupid mistakes I did in the video, but I hope you guys made the, found this video beneficial and uh, ask me any question if you have. Thank you very much.